Why did I decide to write a textbook? That's a good question. And the short answer is I got a phone call from a former student of mine named Joe Levine. And Joe Levine said he was going to write a textbook and wanted me to write half of it. And at first I said, no, no, no. But gradually, I looked at the textbooks that were out there. And having two young children who would be in high school someday, I was surprised at what I saw. The textbooks were so boring that I couldn't imagine that any young person would read these textbooks and want to go on in the field. That was the first problem. The second problem is the books gave the impression that everything about biology had already been discovered. Uh, and therefore, all you had to do to learn biology was to read these books. Um, I'm an experimental scientist. I realize how little we know about the nature of life and how much is still out there to be discovered. So frankly, I decided to call Joe back and said, let's do this. And I wanted to do it because, frankly, I wanted to tell a heck of a good story, which is what biology is to me. I wanted to let students know how exciting the science is, how remarkable the discoveries have been, and also, and this is important to me, how much more is out there to be discovered in the years and decades ahead. And I wanted to make sure that students had a sense of that, that they, too, could be part of the story of biology. That's why we wrote the book.